Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. Um, so earlier today, a um, curious thing happened. I was assembling stuff on the printer and recording things on my phone. And um, I finished some of the assembly and looked up and realized that my phone was no longer recording. Um, it, the record feature had stopped. So uh, when I did some extra investigating, I found that the phone's uh, memory storage had been fully consumed by the long 4K videos that I've been recording. Um, although I shortened them up in Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, to uh, upload them to the channel, um, the long format videos were still on my phone and chewing up all the space, and my phone had basically run out of storage space. Um, so some of the assembly was completed and I didn't get video footage of it. So specifically I installed the Z tensioners um, that attach to the um, rail linear rail carriages. So all three, uh, the two in the front and the one in the back. Um, so I got that complete. And so from so I don't have footage of that. I apologize for those who've been following along. Um, you'll just have to figure out how to do that on your own now. To be fair, those assemblies were not super complicated. Um, but uh, we're going to move on now to um, the bed frame and the kinematic mounts for the bed frame. So I have the bed frame assembly already done here. I've measured this distance and that distance. This should be 101 millimeters and this is supposed to be 129 millimeters and they are. So that's good. I've tightened the brackets in place to hold it and support it, make it nice and sturdy. Um, and we have these printed parts that are going to uh, hold these eight millimeter by 50 millimeter pins. I'm gonna slide into this hole. Um, hopefully my print tolerances are good enough that I can make that work and slide that in there properly. That's nice and tight. Um, may have to jam it in with, uh, with a hammer or something gently, but um, so these will be installed next and uh, I'll install them on the bed frame and then mount the bed frame into the printer itself. Um, so yeah. I'll get started on that and we're going to go into time lapse mode now.
so we have the kinematic bed plate mounted um, and it can do all sorts of funky movements like this um, depending on the heights of the motors so it has some play um, and yeah that's working well all the safety springs are in place I haven't leveled the bed yet I'll have to go about doing that afterwards um, but for now uh, that bed assembly is complete And the next step will be moving on to uh, running the Z-belts in the Z-motor assemblies uh, using these, again, uh, toothed clips to uh, mate the belt into the, the slot here. Um, so I'll get on that in the next video. Um, I'll record a short video for running the Z-belts and we'll get to that step next. Uh, hope you're enjoying this build so far. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to post in the comments below. Thanks for watching.